That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place. Like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Inari. What's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? I simply wanted to check whether the content of the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but... I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. Uh, the words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one. Sheesh. This one, too. Wait, is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a frickin' riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. We should ask some of his fans. They've all had their desires taken, right? If this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? It's 
So it's all about money, is that it? You may be right. It wouldn't make much sense if that weren't the case. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Right. And if it's invite only, there's a chance security will be light as well. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps' son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now. I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, 
All one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth, fiction. Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadorame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes. That's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. So there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <sighs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense! Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma Natsume-san? Of course! With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> Not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't! I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just, uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. 
I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. There's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but you seemed rather sad. Why was that?
someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. I've been waiting for you. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Be on your side. <laughs> I'm so tired. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. It's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Right. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Hey. I'll just add this.
Yummy. been thinking. At any rate, the point is... Speaking of which... Ha, <laughs> ha, 